So, straying away from the parts of a computer that everybody seems to talk about, myself included, I decided to put a little bit of light on the topic which is often neglected. Let's talk about RAM. So, if you're here, I'm pretty sure you know what RAM is. But for those of you who are unfamiliar, RAM, or Random Access Memory, is a temporary storage which the CPU can reach much faster than if it was stored on the hard drive. This information is also saved to your hard drive but cannot be reached by a CPU nearly as quickly. When the computer or device in question is turned off, all data is wiped. The RAM can be used on anything from gaming or even just your operating system. Now let's explain what DDR is. DDR stands for Double Data Rate, is the advanced version of SD RAM. It waits for clock signals before responding to control inputs. Which type of RAM your PC can use is dictated by the slot on your motherboard. For example, you cannot insert a DDR2 RAM into a DDR4 motherboard. DDR2 by today's standards is considered obsolete, which is why I am not talking about it in this video. However, I may bring it up in the future when talking about really old hardware such as the Intel 4004 I talked about a couple videos back. First of all, DDR4 motherboards and RAM tend to be more expensive than DDR3. This means that budget gaming PC builders would likely be more accustomed to DDR3 memory, as opposed to DDR4 which is maybe in more enticing to those who have a relatively higher budget. However, DDR4 has a lower power consumption than DDR3 RAM, however it is only a 15 watt difference in most cases, this isn't a major concern for the average home PC user, but for large scale computer systems where you would have to use hundreds of computers and maybe even thousands of sticks of RAM running at once, is a major gap in power consumption. So now on to the primary question of this video, is DDR4 better than DDR3 for gaming? My answer is no. Despite the differences, they will probably have no distinct difference in PC gaming as the majority of video games are not as reliant on the CPU as they used to be. Many benchmarks have shown that these two RAM types are virtually no different in terms of performance in gaming. If you don't believe me, I will try and prove my point with links to benchmarks in the description below. However, it really just depends what you're using it for, as I just said, it will have no distinct difference in PC gaming unless you're running integrated graphics, in which case I do not see why you would even think of gaming on it. The primary reason I say that is that graphics cards have their own built-in RAM which is commonly referred to as VRAM or Video RAM, which is used like regular RAM but by your GPU rather than your CPU, plus it's built into your GPU as well, whereas CPU RAM is not built into your CPU. As of yet, there are two modern types, these being GDDR5 and GDDRX. GDDR5 is the standard for most modern graphics cards to this day. And then the shiny new GDDRX or GDDR5X, but that is mostly used in the new Pascal cards, the GTX 1080 and 1070, those are the most well-known Pascal cards, and obviously Pascal is brand new, but I will bring these things up in the future. So I hope you did find this video helpful, if so, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe for more. But anyway guys, this is How to Compute, and we will catch you all next time. So, we will see you then. Bye!